Fellas and folkses, I got to watch Godzilla vs. Kong in theaters finally. And I liked it. Then again, I'm just a genuine fan of the MonsterVerse. I found Godzilla 2014 to be a good film. I mean, it was the first one I watched in theaters ever regarding Godzilla. I found Kong Skull Island to be decent. I mean, I didn't watch it in the preferred dub, but, well, you gotta take what you can get. Good movie, regardless. And Godzilla King of the Monsters 2019. If you remember my, uh, my one of my last unscripted reviews. Well, before Sonic and before this. I found it to be a satisfying film. And, well, yeah. Negative criticisms, I didn't buy any of those, but as you know, again, I liked the MonsterVerse. And this was a good entry as well. Godzilla vs. Kong, a decent film. Not my absolute favorite. I think KOTM did that better. And getting my um, appeal. But still a worthy entry. Moderate, a bit, it, if the other movies were meant to be turn your brain off, you're meant to be more d turn your brain off type of action movies, I think this one ex lives up to that title to the fullest. It's one of probably, it's supposedly the shortest one. Um, again, I did, I watched this a lot of time bar, so I had no idea. I think I went to the theaters behind, past bit past five came out around seven ish well I think yeah or six again didn't look at the watch but somewhere around that time either way I think this one definitely encapsulates a good turn your brain off type of action movie and I, there's nothing really wrong with that in my opinion it's a, again a fun monster movie Great kaiju action. Um, gosh, what else can I say? Hasn't been said before. I'm pretty sure other people are going to be breaking this movie's back, basically, because the human characters, yet again, are one almost one-dimensional. Well, I gotta say, that's this movie's defense. What exactly are, are you coming to watch it for again? Human drama? Watch Casablanca. To put it bluntly. Uh, that's a pretty good one. Uh, but for a pretty decent kaiju romp, GVK fits the bill. I mean, there are other examples that fit to go even further. But I think this is definitely one of the best you'll get to see this year, probably. Unless there's something else on the horizon. I mean, got a little singular point being a thing. Since I don't have Netflix, I don't have watched that. But again, Godzilla vs. Kong, that's about a 7 to 8 out of 10. Well, maybe 7 and a half. Again, very decent movie. I know I said that a lot, but it's about all I can say. I didn't left the theater satisfied enough to call this a good one. Call this a worthy experience or investment in my time. And yeah. Sorry. I don't really know what else I can really say. Again, great monster action. Human characters again. They're prop. Some people might be probably disappointed that they're not as engaged, that they're probably not as engaging, like in some other cases, like in the original Godzilla or Ghidorah to Free of the Monster. But, oh well. Again, I know I just said if you want to watch a human drama, watch Casablanca, but yeah, you get where this is going. Better not get too. Invest, invested here again go watch it in theaters or if you have HBO Max 
I guess that's where you can go next. But yeah, that's about all I can really say for the moment. I might make a more in-depth look at it. I'm not giving it, but don't don't hold your breath. Anyway, so long and goodbye.